Hey, boss. I came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Who? I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. And when you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Hello, guys. Hello, everyone. Ladies and Tommy. gentlemen. Tommy. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Mafia. It's the Frank, the main character of this episode, and I'm really hoping he's not gonna get murdered by our hands. Come on, Frank, you old bastard. Don't you screw this up. Today, Tom. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. And some special here, if you want it. Some special what? Oh. Shut off. Frank sees a Lapara, he'll know. The old ways work. Okay, okay, I'll get in this stupid car and go there. Of course, we are going back to the beefs for the intelligence. He's our guy about knowing everyone and everything. If you want to know who's hanging with who and where in this town, you go to beefs. And let's go in different direction, because why not? That was a nice parking man. I'm proud of myself, actually. <laughs> it would be really interesting if Biffs is not there as well. Oh, but of course. Tommy, what's the rumpus? Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Uh, depends. What's it worth to you? 20 bucks. How about 40? All right, spill. The FBI's in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? 
Little Tony got some guy drunk in the black cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Always a pleasure, Beef. I mean, 40 bucks back in 1930s, man, that was shit ton of money. Don't, don't push me to calculate that in today's money because it's all quite a lot. Maybe around 200 or something? Yeah, who the hell knows. If you want, you can do your own calculation. But let's go see a little Tony. See what he has for us. Let's drift this car. Ooh, that was uh, not the greatest drift, but I'll take it. Um, how far is little Tony actually? I have no idea. Hmm, let's just speed this up. No, oh, little Tony is closer than I anticipated. No, you're not little Tony, man. You're just some beggar. Everything okay, Tom? Nah, nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. That on that Councilor Gilatis brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No, no he didn't. Tom, what's going on? I don't have time to chit chat with you and tell you what's going on. But I guess you'll find out eventually. So, if Don is right which he usually is because he's a very wise guy that's why he's in the business and that's why he's done in the first place and the Frank is actually a mall and he sold him out we are looking for a new bookie already I really hope that the job doesn't land on me because I hate paperwork I'm more of a field guy build guy <laughs> Oh my god, this traffic man is killing me. Whoa, 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 whoa. easy man, easy, easy, easy. Woohoo, that was quite a cinematic one. This car is actually better than I thought it's going to be. I mean, it still is like accelerates like shit, but it handles pretty nicely. Not gonna lie, once you get a hand of it, you know. And I think we are in some kind of richer neighborhood by looking at those cars and whatnot. Is this where Frank lives? Oh, oh, I'm going to the safe house. I have my objective down up there. Looks like the place. Oh, definitely richer. Oops, sorry. Definitely richer place. And this must be the Frank's house.
Take me to those account books, Frank. Frank has an escort. Is this FBI escort him or who the hell is this? No, we need to follow them. They're they're going to respect the speed limit, I hope. So will I. <laughs> gas leak. Gas leak, call it Tommy Angelo. <laughs> I mean, seriously, this car has a mirrors it would be pretty obvious that somebody is following you so you would do something about it but hey it's a game even though it's quite a realistic one besides the shooting this is also not quite realistic then let's let's say i was in that car perhaps I would notice some green shit following me around and I would go straight to the police station. Not uh, not to think twice about it, you know. Ah, uh, shit. They taking you to the airport, Frank? Okay, speed limiter off. state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. Who are these people? The FBI? Guy just flashed a badge at me and forced me out. Okay, find out. How do we do that? Can we ask the copper? Airport's close to the public. Okay, okay, don't worry about me. I'll just go around. <laughs> yes. Can I just go over the fence here and not bet an eye? I guess you can. What a security man. Oh. Not supposed to be here. Don't you worry about me. I'm not here. How do I find out where's where he's taken without any gun fighting? Hmm. Maybe I can go around. What is this? Is this a fox? Oh my god, I thought it was a real one, but it's just a statue. <laughs> okay, so two coppers there, but... Didn't see nothing. Yeah, nothing. I heard there's some guy the feds are handing over before he's flown out in a civilian plane. I guess we all want the same thing. Can't say I'm happy dealing with these. What does this say? Twelve o'clock we shut down the airport. Thirteen o'clock informant and FBI escort leave safe house. Thirteen fifty informant exchange and taken to the hangar five. We get account books after informant handed over. Oh Hunger Five. Okay, fine. Let's go there. Can I, can I open this or jump over something? No, not really, no. Oh, I guess I need to kill that copper.
told me nothing. <laughs> well, I can't give up now. Why'd the feds take charge here? Okay, let's hide you behind the bar. Slip tight, buddy. Like you? Hey, this guy's <clears throat> not one of them. <clears throat> That's it, Phil. Huh? Okay. This guy got the cut still for me. I guess this one is better. We gotta push up. Okay, you can push up to here. That sound. Come out. Ooh. I like this gun better. <laughs> Look at this. He has some kind of a body armor or something. It looks like they do. Let me get. Where's your gun? Oh, just a small, stupid gun. Small caliber, I don't want that. This guy has. Alright. Now we are in business. There's an ammo box right here somewhere. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna kill all your security, Frankie. You don't know what I'm capable of. Come on. Come on. gonna curse you where are you shooting oh there you are one next And I have one more bullet for you. Let's take the shotty. Actually not. Let's take our carabine back. Ammo box right over here. Ooh. Quite a lot of these guys. <laughs> now I got gotcha. you. Hmm. I wanted to try to do this mission without any fighting, but just to speak with Frankie. But Frankie is not going to speak with me. 
Taking cover. Gonna reload. Hmm, I can shoot him in the foot. Oh my god, I missed. No, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, copper. Man, copper got me. Of all this, his security, one stupid police officer got me. But he has a Tommy gun. Okay, we made it to the Hangar 5 now, and this is Frank's car that he got in. No, it doesn't look like it, but it's a security car. Frank should be inside. Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over yet? I'm not so stupid, Tom. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on, March. Alice, get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March. For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the bank. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Downstairs, right? Oh, I can just go right in. No security following me or something. Huh. Yep. Not a huge security on 
those banks back in the day, but hmm, there's a gangster monthly. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, mm. follow me. The guy thinking ahead? He planned ahead everything. Nice job. Well, Frank was always the one of the wisest one in the our family, so to speak. Family. <laughs> Got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. Well, that's the end of this chapter. Goodbye, Frankie. Now, if you want to see how the family will work without Frankie, join us in the next chapter, in the next episode. Until then, subscribe. Bye.